is a very special day. It is Ray's birthday. She became five years old. So I'm gonna make a very special cake for her today. So I hope you guys are going to hang out with me and uh, celebrate her birthday together. So without further ado, let's get started. For strawberry shortcake, I always use my Genoa sponge cake recipe. I'll leave the link of the original video down below. After warming up egg and sugar, whip them up until they get very fluffy like this. And whip with low speed until it looks shiny. Then add cake flour, fold until you don't see any flour. Add milk and oil and fold until it froze smoothly. This is one and a half batch of the original recipe and we are pulling into a sheet pan. One sheet makes two layers of sponge and I want four layers today so I'm baking one more time. The reason why I did not do the double batch at once is because probably my stem mixer cannot hold that amount and also because I only had one sheet pan. But you can of course bake that double batch at once if you can. For cake syrup, heat up water and sugar together and mix until the sugar is dissolved completely. That looks cool. For strawberries, cut slices to attach on the sides first and then slice the less to fill with whipped cream between the layers. For whipped cream, whip heavy cream and sugar until it gets fluffy. Save some to pipe on top in the end and whip the last even more until it gets very stiff like this. And dip the ball in ice water so that it can remain cool. I highly recommend you to do this especially for a big cake like this or when your room is not cool enough. I'm using very fluffy sponge with whipped cream today so I had to be really careful to stack them straight and also move as fast as I can to hold the shape. You can also try it with buttercream cake and it'll be a lot easier to handle. I was very nervous about stacking full layers for this cake but I took a risk and decided to do that 
it definitely got heavier and a little bit harder to handle so um, you can do three layers if you prefer and at this point I noticed that the tip of the cake was a little bit leaning so as a quick treatment I inserted long two sticks to support the body and chilled the cake right away now I inserted four cake doyle lots all around the cake to support the body especially because the cake is very soft and big today we'll definitely need the bones to support it and chill completely before finishing the decoration Today I decided to dice dark chocolate to attach on the side You can finish with just cream or sprinkles or however you like Thank you so much for watching and joining us together. Happy pastry living and I'll see you next week. Bye bye. Box. Yep. Lunchbox. Where are you going to school? I'm learning.
actually, still open.